Texting, texting. Hey, we made it back. We did not get to McDonald's. Was it McDonald's? No, Wendy's. Damn it. Peppermint. Peppermint. Well, Peppermint good. Frosty. Wendy's closed. Anyway. Segment yeah, three. Does sound good. Brief one. Hot stove um, segment here. Brief. Um, Nazis. Hey, hey, hey. Funny thing happened on the way to New York. Minnesota got in the way. Um... <laughs> Funny and thing happened on the way to San Francisco. Francisco I stopped in New York, New York and then I went and to Minnesota. And then Minnesota. Carlos so you, Correa. So you take that left at Albuquerque and all hell breaks loose. It just does. Ask Bugs Bunny. Trust me. Um, so anyway, uh, he, Correa ended up now. He, here's now to my to my understanding, this sounds like a deal that would be right up your alley. I'm trying to figure out why the Mets didn't do this um, because the Minnesota got him on a 200 million dollar six year deal. Um, which the one thing I, I always hear about you is you're always concerned about length of contract. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's like, shit, why didn't the Mets think of that? Yeah. Because I'm just thinking like you, if you know that, why don't the Mets know that? Right. Um, if you were unsure well, but, about him health wise or long term about that injury, which I get. So it's a six I, years, 200. Yeah. But then there's something that triggers another 70 million on the contract. Okay. Yeah, I hope it's health. I, yeah, I, I assume maybe it's, it's health. Played appearances. If he's playing, like then that. yeah, okay, we'll give you money um, because you are you are durable. So, which so, would make sense too, by the way. So yeah, I don't. I'm not really sure. Obviously, the Mets felt like they couldn't trust his ankle for a certain number of years. Which and I which, don't fault the Mets for doing their due diligence on this. They should have. Right. And at the end of the day, they deemed that you know what? Then I don't. Fine. And I got no and problem. With all that. the details haven't been released, and I don't know that they ever will be. But what I've yeah. heard is that. The Mets offered him, I don't know, 157 over five years, yeah. but then something would trigger like the second half of the contract to kick in, like the next six years. Okay. So because I think they were going to give him a 12 year deal or something like that. Originally, that was what I originally was. Well, yeah, was on the table. So <laughs> what I'm hearing is that there were stipulations in the contract that would allow him to get all that money. Yeah. But he'd have to take like a physical at the end of every year. Mm-hmm. So I heard speculation that. Maybe the players' association didn't didn't want to set that precedent, like, oh, you know, making yeah, guys, oh yeah, yeah, we'll pay you this money, but you got to take a physical every year. Well, if, because I could understand the players' union being like, that's putting our guys in a position where they're not getting guaranteed money, and the players' association in baseball is smart enough to know that if you want to sign me, sign me for the money you're going to pay me, and that's how the NFL should be too. So. I understand what the Mets did, but I also understand what Correa did. Mm-hmm. And and if the Players Association well, pushed Correa to do that, I get it. At the end of the day, he ended up getting less than what he could have got. Well, his um, first deal was 13 years, $350 million, yeah. And he signed for six years, two hundred, yeah. with the chance of 270 Chance of 270 yeah. So overall, it might end up he, lost, he lost seven years yeah. and $150 million. Mm-hmm. Or... Six years and eighty million. Yeah. Either way, either way, if he were willing to come down that much, yeah, something's wrong with his ankle. Something's wrong with his ankle. And so it was, which just, means the Mets were right, right? You know, which means the Mets were right. And also, I heard somebody say, you know, if the Mets were just asking for health guarantees, and Correa wouldn't bet on himself, yeah, you're not going to pay. Maybe that's all you need to know. Yeah. You know, That's because fair. if we're saying, hey, we'll give you the money if this happens and you say yeah. no, yeah. maybe you're making the right decision. Yeah. It's still disappointing because it felt like they it made them a super team. Yeah. They're already and a super team. They're a very good team. They're a potentially super team. a great team. This is a super team. Offensively, they're not a super team yet. There's other offensive clubs that are better than them. So I felt but they're like, in the top ten. Yeah, no, they, I think they had a top five offense already. I think they did um, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so so was, to me, if you're in the top five on both sides of the plate, you're a super team because right, well, they are probably the one team. If that's in the your top definition. Five. But to me, well, that would be them. Yeah, super team. But to me, because of how vulnerable they looked against San Diego and against the Braves at the end of the year, I felt like Correa turned up the dial a little bit and yeah. changed that. And gave them that, like, this guy has done it in the postseason. He's Look, won they, a World Series. They went after him. Oh, yeah. And that's why the, I'm not the, upset yeah. with the Mets. It's, I mean, I'm disappointed they didn't get him. If, if they pulled but, a Red Sox, 
Right. That's different. He was never on the radar. That's different. <laughs> um, when everybody else seemed to have a fucking went after him, why didn't you, yeah. uh, Mr. I have all the money in the world? Um, you know, so, but look at The Mets are loaded. They've added to their roster. They have upgraded from a talent perspective. They have. Um, and they are, to me, yeah. they are the prohibitive favorite. That was before they got Guerrero. To me, they were the prohibitive favorite. Before they signed him, that was just like, for the that guy was, who? or they went after Carrera. Oh, Correa. Correa, I'm sorry, Correa. Um, you sound like my mother. She calls him Carrera. She's like, yeah, Carrera went to Minnesota. Difference is, she hasn't been hanging out with Yoda. True. <laughs> so, That's true. She's not really a Star Wars fan. No, it's not. Right. Right. I understand it. It's not for everybody. Um, yeah, so I'm not mad about it, but I'm a little disappointed because uh, that would have been great. However, what it opens the door for is Eduardo Escobar, who was their starting third baseman all year, mm -hmm. had a really bad three quarters of the season. Yeah. His last quarter of the season was good enough to make him actually a good third baseman for the year. That's how well he played. Yeah. Um, and he finished the second half, I believe, with more home runs than Correa. So. Well, then in that case, so he could he could <laughs> yeah. you know be a big piece this Take year. Take that step because last year was his first year in New York. He came from Milwaukee. Yeah, a lot of guys that first year, even Lindor's first year. Yeah, it was kind of like what the they fuck? adjust, you know. And then Lindor last Different. year had a great year. So Different, maybe Escobar uh, has a good year. Yeah. Also, late in the year, they called up Brett Beatty when Escobar got hurt. Curious to see how that kid is this year. So even yeah. if. You know, Escobar was hitting really good righty last year. Mm -hmm. So you could have him bat against lefties. Mm -hmm. You could have Beatty bat against righties because he's a lefty. Sure. Now you got a platoon where you get a, a young guy learning behind a veteran. Yeah, which is good for your depth. Yeah. So, no, I look at To me, they're, they're the prohibitive favorites. Um, they ought to be. They won 101 games last year, and their roster got better. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's just that simple. So um, the Red Sox side, Rafael Devers. About four players too late. <laughs> okay? I mean, he was the last straw. Anyway, um, they've made some moves. No one cares about the moves. No one thinks the moves move. Any of the moves move the radar. They picked up some pitching, didn't they? They, they didn't pick up the pitching they needed. They signed Justin Turner. They, <laughs> they, let, they let Bogarts go. <laughs> signed Justin Turner on the back end of his career. <laughs> That's that's the, that right there ladies, is a quick synopsis of the pulse up in New York Nation right now. <laughs> okay. Every every freaking one of them, and they you know this thing they're the fan base that gets it. They're the fan base that caught on pretty quick. This yeah, but they have Chris Sale and uh, Evaldi. No, no, they don't. Evaldi's gone. Oh, he left. He's gone too. He's fucking Who's their rotation? I thought I saw a picture of their rotation. Their rotation is shit, fuck, and cock. Okay, it's terrible. It's I don't think it's that bad. It is that bad. Because Chris Sale won't last. He won't make it to fucking July. That's assuming he even starts the season. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And Chris Sale hasn't been an ace Nick in Nick Pavetta? Yeah. Chris Sale? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Y'all signed Yoshida. He's supposed to be good. Wait, Japanese wait, player. wait, wait. Stop me if you've heard this. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> ass, shit, and fuck. <laughs> I'm looking at their pitching. Dude. Yeah, I just gave you the lineup. Ass, shit, and fuck. <laughs> and hey, don't forget on that fifth day, they got Dingleberry. <laughs> Maybe they'll <laughs> sign John Lester. Oh my God, don't get me started on that one. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that fan base is is, is pissed off. Okay, Maybe let, as here's Patriots your lineup are. 2023, mock lineup. Mock lineup. Don't you mock me. Leading off, left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. That's the guy they, they got from Japan who's supposed yeah. to be good. Now, batting second, shortstop, Kiki Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> batting third, third baseman, Rafael Devers. Don't yep. give me a – he's good. Pitch around him. Uh, batting cleanup, DH, Justin Turner. <laughs> Just batting fifth, first baseman Tristan Cassis. <laughs> batting sixth, right fielder Alex Verdur Verdugo. <laughs> batting seventh, second baseman Christian Arroyo. <laughs> batting eighth, catcher Reese McGuire. <laughs> and kept batting ninth, center fielder Jaron Duran. <laughs> Dear God. Yep. 
<laughs> what on earth? That what can't be the line. That okay. is the line. So this is <laughs> that is the this, line. this is a court. That can't, be the, that can't be. Okay, so you just <laughs> this is according to this is according to the website Sports Sports Boston. You just, that can't be. No way. I can see you be freaking Red Sox fans. This can't be. The line. Listen, listen to the first. Listen to the first paragraph of this article. I must have heard that. Listen, to the, listen to the first, can't be the line. <laughs> listen to the first paragraph. The Boston oh Red Sox God. won't be unrecognizable when they take the field for 2023 opening day. They won't? But they will take some getting used to. <laughs> <laughs> Not be used to losing. <laughs> Evaldi went to the Dodgers. Oh, well, yeah, he's going. Yeah, he went to a winner. Look at me the fuck oh, out no. of here. <laughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> J.D. Martinez went to the jo- he's Dodgers. He's gone, too. Evaldi went to the Rangers. Yeah, they become, they become a super team, too. Yeah, the Rangers have some pitching now. The Ra- Look at the Dodgers with J.D. Martinez. Oh, they've been a super team for 10 years. I know, but they just threw him into the fight. It's like, it's like well, hey, yeah. he wants well, more they, sauce. They replaced <laughs> Justin Turner with J.D. Martinez. He's a stud. And you guys replaced J.D. Martinez with Justin Turner. <laughs> yeah, we lost that fucking deal. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. How about those maps? How about those maps? <laughs> <laughs> Buck Showalter well, just know, named most handsome I guess, manager. I in, guess in, the question in, in is, will the Red Sox jersey show its face next summer behind me? I seriously doubt you will see a Red Sox They'll jersey. They'll have a month where they set. win 10. No. They 10. win 10 in a row. Yeah, they lose 20. <laughs> 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 They'll have a month where they win 10 in a row, and you'll be like, hey, look, they're two games behind the Rays. No. That's what happened this year. That ain't happening next year. Remember, that happened this year. Remember, we looked we looked at their schedule, and we said, they, if they can go 500. They had Xander Bogarts and J.D. Martinez. They're both fucking gone. That's true. They are worse now than they were a year ago. They have made no significant addition <laughs> to the fucking pitching staff. Not okay. They are worse than I, they I were. I literally just went year. through their pictures. You, you were like, this can't be the line. <laughs> the fuck, you even understand their fucking. <laughs> I think that break. article was wrong. I don't. That's how bad it looked. I don't. You can, you know, you go Google that cart roster. I guarantee it's not wrong. All right, let's just do it. So overall, Why? so no, so overall, I just like to say I'm still optimistic as a Mets fan. I still think they. You did, should be. They did. So much work this offseason. They did bringing not stand, back Diaz. They did not stand bringing back Pat. Nimmo. This is getting if, Quintana. If you're a fan of the New York Mets, getting Cody Sanga. You have been waiting your whole life for this yeah, owner. Exactly. For a guy like this who's a fucking fan and looked at that team and went 101 and we didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the guy. Here's a want. point that I liked I heard today. I was looking at Twitter and somebody said, Steve Cohen listened to the doctors and the GM and didn't sign Carlos Correa. Correa. And when you think about Smart. teams where He's the not own, crazy. Right, where the owners get because yeah. Steve Cohen's a Mets fan. Yeah. Same way Jerry Jones is a Cowboys fan. Yeah. Same way Dan Snyder is a Washington football team slash commanders slash Redskins fan. Is he though? Yeah. Or he's just like the lifestyle. I think well, he more likes being either known way. as the owner of a professional well, league. No, but I think he also wants to win. He's just instead of letting people who know football, he doesn't know shit. He's take fucking... you know, take the path. Yeah. Steve Cohen didn't say no. I want Carlos Correa. Sign him. He said, all right, yeah, uh-huh. I trust you. Yeah, let him go uh-huh. to Minnesota for 120 million less. They, the Mets were smart about this. I, I think, think long so. term it, it helps. Doesn't 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 cripple them. Gives them, keeps them flexible to do other things if they have to. True. This guy has got them right where they want to be with wiggle room. And if they want to add something to the trading line, they can probably fucking do it. Okay, whatever yeah. it takes. This, no, guy's gonna, this guy will go all in. and Maybe he'll trade for Otani this year. Who knows what he'll do, but I, don't, I think he'll do whatever it takes. That's the type of owner he is. Whatever it takes. He'll do whatever it fucking takes. What is that from? Whatever it takes. Oh, oh end game. End game. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Before they like Mr. Mom, 38, 39, whatever it took. Who used my toothbrush? Oh, no, that was duplicity. That was duplicity, wasn't it? Wasn't so, it? Who used my toothbrush? toothbrush? Anyway, so that's where we are. Hot stove. Red Sox suck. Mets are awesome. Um, Let me just do a quick uh, pull on Twitter, see if anything crazy just came across <laughs> the wire. We'll do live. We'll live across the um, wire. Baseball wire? 
No, just a Twitter. 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 Oh, Twitter. But a lot of it's going to be skewed to the things I look at. Twatter. Mets. Mets. Giants. Well, not, they're they're worth looking at right now. The Red Sox and the Patriots aren't. They got, no. What am I wearing? We're talking football. I'm wearing my Celtics gear. By the way, Celtics won tonight again. Bit league best thirty and twelve records. See, there is hope, Boston. There is hope. Jalen uh, Jalen Brown, Mister I am not Robin. Forty one points, twelve rebounds. Jalen Brown, all star. Better be. This league's retarded. This um, just in. Actually, yeah. it was fourteen hours ago. What? Over the last four seasons, the number six seed is seven and one in the NFL wild card round. Giants six seed. Hmm. Hmm. Ravens six, six seed. seed. Hmm. Not with Tyler Huntley. No, I have I, I I bet on the Giants. I have that that to me that that one yeah I'd be shocked if the Giants didn't win that game because I think they're right they this team's right to be had the Giants are just the team to do it so <laughs> they really are um, but anyway mm-hmm. that's our show for tonight <laughs> um, we will be back uh, probably with probably either Sunday or Monday with a recap or maybe we should do a Monday night preview of that Cowboys uh, Buccaneers game. On Monday? Monday, maybe. I mean, so, we already kind of previewed We it. did. We just, well, maybe by then it'll be 120 to nothing. Dallas. Never know. The spread keeps moving. It's fluid. It's fluid. Right, Stephen? A. fluid. <laughs> but <laughs> until that time, Monday or two, probably Tuesday, because we'll recap everything and that'll be all done. We'll know what the semifinal or second round is going to look like. But until that time, my good people, you. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the football. Enjoy the basketball. College hoops are back in full swing, by the way. Enjoy it all. VCU got a win VCU last night. VCU got a win last night. Convinced, so, I mean, they're on a roll right now. So, I mean, it was Loyola um, Chicago, not a, hey, hey, not a world beater. Hey, anytime you get to slap, you know who. <laughs> so, Sister Jean? They was put Sister Jean in her place. Yeah, Sister Jean. <laughs> back there. Yeah. Back there in your rectory. I'm anyway. not getting any real live uh, so, big news right now. There's the, well, there's no big news. It's 1223 at night. The news is over. <laughs> so anyway. Jets lost their OC. Uh, they should have. They, lo- they should have lost their OC. <laughs> no, you know, no. Here's a crazy thing. Uh, he asked to go take another job. They didn't fire him. That might tell you something about. They didn't fire Zach him? Wilson. They're not keeping him. Well, they have to keep him. He's number two pick. You have to give him one more year. You can't just get rid of him. Um, I mean, I guess you could, but isn't he still in a, isn't a lot of that money guaranteed? The rookie number two pick in the draft gets a big, big guaranteed signing bonus. Daryl Bevel and Nathaniel Hackett are two names to watch in the Jets' offensive coordinator search. If the Jets Nathaniel hire Nathaniel Hackett, Hackett you're a, you're an, you're after an, that season, if you hire that guy, that's as bad as hiring Matt Patricia. <laughs> so, that, that, you know what, though? Would that, it's the Jets. Would the Jets surprise you if they did that? No. That would surprise me. Nothing the Jets I mean, come me. on. The fact that they're even entertaining it is ridiculous. Well... It's according to somebody on Twitter. All right, well, maybe it's not true. I hope for the Jets fans' sake it's not true, because if that is true, you're in as bad a shape as I mean, the Patriots. I you mean, know, <laughs> when you think about all the reports that came out about, oh, Correa to the Mets is a done deal. Mets fans, you can breathe. It's okay. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And, and, then, then, and then he's on the Twins. Yeah. So who knows who sometimes? Knows? No, you're right. Know. You're right. We don't know. We don't know. But when, when, when the news breaks, we will break it. Anyway, until that time, <laughs> that is the redoubtable <laughs> one, Tom Izzo. I am the highly questionable one, Arjun Miliaccio. This is IDD. For those of you guys who are reading, by the way, IDDST hashtag. Look us up. Look us up. Find us. Hashtag IDDST. IDDST, yes. It would, be, it would be a shame if they did IDDST hashtag on the back terrible. end. Yeah. No, do it the other way. You wouldn't find a thing? No, you wouldn't. We wouldn't be there. No, we would not do that. We wouldn't be anywhere there. So. Let's go Knicks. Till the, yes, go Knicks. Knicks are doing No, go Knicks. Go Celtics. Fuck the Knicks. Anyway. No, I mean, <laughs> but, Celtics are obviously the best great. team in the East. Doesn't Maybe matter right now. We'll, see, we'll check back in April. We'll see. Until then. They're still the one seed. They are right now. They're doing well. So until next week, early next week, you guys have a great week. Enjoy the football. We will see you on the other side. And again, remember. <laughs> drum. 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 Jeez. Oh,